This video is sponsored by Walsworth. Next up, Mike Parkinson. Come on down, Mike. Thank you. So I am going to show you three steps to do a parallax timeline. What do I mean by a parallax timeline? This is a parallax timeline when the foreground looks like it's moving at a different pace than the background. It gives it three-dimensional depth. This is a cool trick, very similar to Chris's, except for people who don't have 3D tools. <laughs> Super cool. Now rub it in, buddy. Thanks a lot. So how do we do it? Step number one is you find a picture that's wider than your slide, and you scale it up so part of it's hanging off your slide. So here it goes. I'm scaling it up. But if I were to zoom out of this picture, we can see, son of a gun, there it is. Look, I'll just move this down. Yep, son of a gun, it's still on there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to, now, I'm going to make the slide look cool, so I'm going to put a little text in and format it. Who cares about that? The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to make or insert a timeline. What? Super easy. All I'm going to do is draw some circles, use some lines and some icons, and that really cool font for today, one month, two months, that's a font. I totally love that font. Once I do that, I'm going to take that, that take that. Take me fail English. I'm going to take that timeline and shove it off to the side and scale it up. So I'm just going to shove it off to the side. What we do to get that really cool parallax effect is I'm going to move that background image just a little bit, but I'm going to move the timeline a lot. I'm going to use duplicate the slide, choose a morph transition, move the background a little bit, move the timeline a lot. What in the heck do I mean by that? So let me show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this slide right here, duplicate it. I'm going to move the background just a little bit, move the foreground element a whole bunch. Get that out of there. We don't need this anymore. But I'm going to zoom out so you can see this. What? It's really tiny. That's really, really tiny. So I'm going to grab this, all these pieces right here. I'm going to move these a lot because I moved the background on peu, but I moved the foreground a lot. I mean the foreground a lot. So now, if I were to choose the morph transition on here, go to transitions, morph, we're going to get that really cool effect. So it's very, very simple. So if I were to go back here, and now I'm going to show you a little bonus, because why not? We got time. So I'm going to show you that's how you created it. You had that little timeline. You're just moving the background with morph a little bit and moving the foreground a lot, that timeline a lot. That's what's creating the effect. Now, if you want to be really fancy, Check this out, Chris, is what I'm going to do, because, I mean, come on, Chris's thing was really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this out for maybe an image or an isometric image. Now I'm going to make that circle by using morph. I'm going to make that circle my next slide so I can contextualize my content. So what I'm going to do is on the next slide, I just make the circle really big and morph it to this. Talk, talk, talk. I'm finished. I go back. The audience always knows where I am in my session. That is three steps to create a parallax timeline. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.